<laughs> hey folks, cool night across the valley. Temperatures have already fallen to the 50s out west. Everybody else still hanging in the 60s and we'll all end up a little cooler than this, obviously, before the night's over with. There's still a lot of clouds out there. We've seen some light showers going up the coast this evening, but not much left now. So there still could be an isolated shower there. But look at our dew points, and they're they're down. So we're going to drop down close to that dew point. But the average right now is 57. So even at that, it's still comfortable on the muggy meter. Even though we're getting close to 100% humidity, the dew point is down. So the air's again not as muggy as what it is uh, what it was just a couple of days ago. These are your forecast lows tonight. Most of the valley ends up in the 50. Patchy fogs possible, and then tomorrow, look at this. Today's high was 67. Tomorrow, mid 80s. A big jump from one day to the next, but this warm up is a one day thing because another front tomorrow night is going to drop temperatures again. We go 84 tomorrow, 71 for a high on Wednesday. Most of the day spent in the 60s, and then Thursday for Thanksgiving, only 73 with a morning low in the 40s. So this front tomorrow night means business as well. Satellite shows the clouds that came through late last night, early this morning. What's left kind of trying to break, and they will break later tonight, even though we can see maybe a spotty shower near the coast. By tomorrow afternoon, high resolution model says we're back to mostly sunny skies again. So that will really help warm temperatures up tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, here comes the next front. That front due in after midnight. Could trigger a couple of showers. Best chance near the coast. Then it goes on through. Clouds linger into Wednesday morning. This is 8 a.m. It's still overcast. Wednesday afternoon, still plenty of clouds around. Wednesday night, though, I think things should clear out. And you wake up Thursday morning for Thanksgiving. It's going to be a clear sky, a beautiful day, but a crisp, cool start with temperatures again Thursday morning in the 40s. Chance of rain is late tomorrow and early Wednesday, like say after dark tomorrow night and until about midday on Wednesday. After that, rain chances taper off and for Thanksgiving, uh, rain pretty much out of here. These are currents around the state starting to cool off in the panhandle. 40 in Dalhart, but 53 in Dallas, 50 in Austin tonight. Front not in the state yet, but if you watch for it, here it comes from the north. It races into the state tomorrow night and races to our part of the state overnight tomorrow night into the early morning hours on Wednesday. Notice the clouds and showers linger through part of the day, but by Wednesday evening they're gone, and that sets the stage for a picture-perfect Thanksgiving day across the valley with plenty of sunshine and uh, very mild temperatures on Thursday. So let's take a look. For tonight, mainly cloudy and cool, 58 for a low. Patchy fog a possibility, east-southeasterly winds. And then tomorrow, 84 for a high. After today, 67. That's a pretty good jump, isn't it? Yeah. East-southeasterly winds, about 5 to 10. Here's the next seven days. We go all the way up to 84 tomorrow. Only 71 on Wednesday. Thanksgiving, sunny, a cold start. 47 in the morning, a high of 73 Thursday afternoon. We'll spend all day getting to that 73, so a cool day. And you look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we warm it back up again into the 80s. Another week front Saturday night, you can see it doesn't make a big difference. 85 Saturday, 81 on Sunday. But Thanksgiving looks terrific. Yeah, no complaints here, Tim. You like it the way? I'm loving it. We'll keep it coming. Then. All right. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Joelle's here with sports.